Good afternoon guys and welcome to the first video on what will hopefully be a long running series of a vanilla Cities Skyline um, Let's Play. Uh, this is the first video on this channel, um, so I apologise if my commentary is a little bit off, there's probably going to be a lot of ums and ahs just as I get back into the flow uh, of doing YouTube. I used to do it back in the day, uh, recording some incredibly cringy Minecraft videos which maybe one day I will share with you. Uh, but right now we're going to kick start this new channel with a vanilla City Skylines Let's Play on the map Eden Valley which comes with the Green Cities DLC I think is this little icon. Uh, we're going to go with Fremwood um, purely because that's the first thing that's popped into my head as I'm doing this. Uh, we're on right hand side traffic even though that's the wrong side of the road. Uh, but for making City Skylines videos it seems to be easier for some reason. Uh, so I've put around 100 hours into Cities so far, um, and it's a really good game. It's what Sim City 4 should have been. Um, if you're a fan of these City Sim or simulation games in general, uh, Cities is incredibly addictive. Um, and the inspiration for this Let's Play, um, there's a couple of different reasons. Uh, firstly, if you look on YouTube, there isn't that many vanilla City Skylines Let's Plays, which is unfortunate because the vanilla game has a lot to offer in my opinion um, there's a lot of different assets here and Cities is so open to modding and that, that's not a criticism at all you know it's great that Paradox allow uh, their fans to mess with their game engine and make different um, assets and tools from it it's, it's, it's really good and it's definitely not a criticism of them uh, or the game itself um, but for me I do prefer the vanilla model and maybe further on in this let's play we'll install some mods I think especially the traffic manager mod um, towards the higher population tiers purely because you know intersections and and traffic can become pretty wild um, as the game grows uh, but we'll get to that we're, we are a while off that yet uh, so I'm just gonna kick off the city by building um, a real simple um, I don't know what you would call it, I suppose entry into the initial village. I need to make these one way, which I haven't done. Yeah, okay, that's right. Uh, and I have this idea from a YouTuber called uh, Imperial Jedi. If you guys haven't watched him, he's a City Skyline YouTuber and streamer. Um, and he has some really good content out there. If you guys haven't heard of him or seen him, I highly suggest you go and check him out. He's um, a real source of inspiration for me. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll link his channels down in the description so you guys can um, head down there and check him out. Um, and I'd advise that you actually go and watch him before uh, you carry on watching this video because um, I am stealing his uh, start of the city here. And it's also on the same map as well. Um, but yeah, he's a really good content creator. Definitely go and check him out. Uh, but do come back here afterwards, obviously. Okay, so we're thinking on the right hand side of this city um, is going to be our industry. And um, this should match up perfectly with this. See a little bit here. Yeah, okay, that works. And then this left side of the city is going to be uh, a little bit of residential. There'll also be um, a high street here as well. Which will come on level with this, and we'll put in a roundabout here. That doesn't look particularly straight. There we go. Yeah, so the the inspiration for the this start of the city, we will. Oh, I've just upgraded that to the wrong road. That's a waste of money. Um, heavily inspired by Imperial Jedi. So. No, it's not a direct rip-off, uh, for sure, but um, yeah, it's. <laughs> you'll see if you go and watch his uh, Green Cities Let's Play, it's pretty heavily inspired by this, but we'll take it in a different direction. This is really just for starting out the city and getting you know, some initial citizens and those first few milestones uh, into the game. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes and we'll see where we can take it and put our own spin on it. I have made some pretty, 
I think the highest population I've been to is like 75,000, um, but after that, my, my old PC, uh, it, it just couldn't handle it. It was, you know, struggling with simulating that many different people and objects throughout it. It was just a little bit, um, yeah, it, it was laggy towards the end, to say the least. Uh, so we're going to pop in, how much is this? This is 19,000, isn't it? Okay, so I think we should put this... We'll relocate it later. I don't really like the, um, the power plant to be right next to the highway entrance, but for now it's going to have to do. Uh, I'm going to fill in some of these blocks here and get it out. So I, I'm just going to apologise again in advance that if my commentary is a little off, it will take me a while to get rid of the ums and ahs throughout um, my, uh, my, uh, my Let's Plays. So will hopefully improve with time but we'll uh we'll, we'll, we'll kick on with this let's play so i'm hoping this will be enough to push us over to the first milestone maybe get a little more housing in here uh so let's get some no because these guys have already started building we will just make a little path here the reason why i'm leaving these little gaps in between uh, the zonings is just so we can add in some paths later on to make uh, getting around the town a lot easier. But we are, I'm not actually sure what level do you unlock it. 1400 we unlock the, uh, the decoration panel which should be uh, which should be good because I'm hoping to make this city quite detailed and lots of different trees and paths and custom parks. We are playing with uh, part life so we can make a lot of different custom parks as opposed to using the stock vanilla ones which is essentially mods in itself um, so hopefully that will take shape so we've got some people coming into the city now we're at a population of 140 uh, let's make some more houses down here we are actually out of space at the moment We've got a little bit of commercial demand now as well, so we'll make these guys along here commercial. These guys along here. Here. And here. This will be a main street as well. I want to get a lot of public transport into the city. Lots of trams, buses, trains when we eventually unlock them. And then this will be some industrial eventually. So we'll start building next to the power station. Just to make it easier. For the power to link and we shouldn't be too far away from our first milestone now and I don't want to bring this zone in too close to the highway exit so just while that stuff's building um, I'm thinking of taking the highway up to the river here and um, cross it over the river into a bit of a downtown uh, not particularly super high-rise location over here and um, we may even build it here, but the terrain here is a little bit steep coming up onto this mountain for a downtown, whereas over here it was super flat. Maybe not super flat, but you know what I mean. Uh, if you're interested also in my PC, this is a brand new PC that I've just put together. Um, I'll list the specs down in the description on a, on a Google Sheets document if you guys are interested in checking out what my specs are. And you can, you can find that out in the description below. So... Uh, Make sure you check that out if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Okay, so we're slowly increasing. I'm just going to let some time pass over here. And we've got a little bit of demand for residential. Sorry, industrial even, not residential. I'll just place these blocks here. I want to try and keep this... All of the main street here, I don't want a lot of buildings right up against the edge of it in these final blocks. Um, purely for traffic reasons. Although, I'm sure I'll forget to do that at some point and then traffic will become a nightmare. So we want to make sure people have to use the side streets um, before they're stopping and dropping off goods and whatnot. Let's see if we can get one in down here as well. Um, although I don't think they'll build now because these guys have already set up, set up their bases. We do have some more residential demand is really high. I kind of want to fulfill that. Let's bring these guys right up to the edge. We'll see what they build there. And maybe even here. 
Yeah, okay, let's, uh, do, do we have a water supply here? Yes, we do. Let's bring our residential up on here. I don't go too far here because the road is going to continue down this way. And it's going to be quite heavily commercial and lots of, you know, public transport. So I don't want it to be too heavily residential here. I might as well bring that up level as well. So if you guys are interested in following me, please do subscribe. I'm going to try and get maybe two or three episodes out a week. And there'll also be some Total War gameplay on here as well. And if, you're in, if you are on Twitch, uh, you can also follow me um, there as well. Um, I stream Destiny on Twitch, um, which is everyone's cup of tea. And we'll also do some city streaming on Twitch as well and some Total War stuff. Uh, but the majority of the content you'll find here is on YouTube. So if you are interested in Twitch, uh, you can find that link again uh, in the description. Okay, so this is looking pretty nice at the minute. Um, got a nice little kind of mini high street here coming down from the bridge over there. Uh, eventually, we will need to build another highway um, exit to get out of the city for the residential for the for the industrial, because as this grows, all the trucks will be forced to come across this bridge into the high street and then down this side. It's not a massive issue, but in terms of realism, in an actual high street, especially in England, it might be different elsewhere in the world. Um, you wouldn't particularly see vast amounts of heavy traffic coming down the kind of the commercial fronts. They tend to have their own entries and exits into their respective zones. So we'll try and make it as realistic as possible. Um, okay, so we have some commercial demand now. So we can maybe start to build what would be the main high street. We do have water for them so we can fulfill that demand now. We'll bring that across here. And then across here. And again, we'll leave that one out just for the path going through. And maybe one down here as well. This might be a, a nice little place for a path. I just don't want it to look too chunky and uh, too many bricks. I also have to apologize as well again. Um, for me, I have a habit of keeping the game on one speed. Just so I can manage each and individual thing without it letting, without it getting out of hand. But uh, we'll, we'll hopefully get out of that habit. And we're about to hit our first milestone. Oh wait, what is it? Is it 500? Oh, it's 440. Very random number, 440. But yeah, this is a little big. Central hotel, but it's a general store. Yeah, we have massive residential demand at the moment. Um, having the money here, you know, let's just make it here. We can, um, we'll always demolish the houses. We just want to get to that first milestone to uh, and maybe uh, let's pop some stuff in here as well. And down here too. These houses here and here will end up being demolished when we expand. But just to pop that first, uh, first milestone, we're going to... We're just going to pop some in. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, so with that, we've unlocked taxes, loans, garbage, healthcare, education, and a couple of new buildings, including the landfill site, which is the first thing we'll buy now because it's important not to let the landfill uh, and the garbage situation go too crazy. I've unlocked the community school and the elementary school as well. Uh, okay, so let's get that garbage sorted out because we want people to have clean homes. Clean homes and streets. I'm just going to pop this on its own uh, separate road. That doesn't quite line up, does it? Which is a little bit annoying. But we'll pop a little one-way road through there just so they don't always have to go um, up and around. It won't be a huge issue. But... Um, we should be okay. We've unlocked the loan as well, so let's go ahead and grab that. We'll take 20,000. And with that, we can buy. Uh, the community school is 240 a week and 160 a week, so we really want the cheaper method. I don't want to buy the med clinic just yet. There isn't really a need, but we definitely need to um, expand our infrastructure here just because we are starting to have. Uh, people complain that there isn't enough workers, which means that we need population. We're going to bring this up out here. And this is just going to be a little uh, residential 
kind of hub, if you like. Uh, in England, if you're kind of driving around uh, the streets, you'll see a lot of terrace houses, and they're laid out in very um, strict grids like this. So it's something that I don't want to rep replicate too much, and we're gonna we're gonna try and keep this main road um, free from it, just so it isn't backing up too much onto this bit, because it's where people be coming in and out. And we should see quite a spike in growth here, and from each of here we can make a little path that comes through and joins the main road. So whilst we've got a bit of money, let's go ahead and start. Um, Let's bring this road up to here, and then we'll go freestyle and turn off the grid lockings, and we'll just bend it around this corner a little. There we go. And then just bend it back straight there. Okay. I just want to follow the curve of this hill that's on our left. Don't want it to be too wild. And I think where we straighten out a little bit here, we're going to have a little town plaza, a place where you can go to a park, maybe that we can put the high school there, a place for trams to turn around as well. Have it as a little bit of a, not a downtown in the traditional sense of the word, but kind of like a little social hub where people can gather. So these guys shouldn't be complaining of not enough workers anymore, there's a little big population boost just come in. I think this looks quite nice and down at street level. Kind of, and when we unlock the decorations, we'll cover all this with kind of overgrowth and different trees and bushes and whatnot. Okay, we're doing well. We have some industrial demand, so we'll fulfill some of that. And that should take care of it. How are we doing for power? Power's good, water's good. Everyone's happy. We can afford the elementary school. Um, oh, and that just fits in perfectly there, doesn't it? If that isn't a sign to put an elementary school down, then I don't know what is. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We can afford it now. We have a lot of taxpayers. Uh, and that should also upgrade a lot of these houses around here. We should see them putting the scaffolding up soon. Anybody? No, okay, it doesn't look like anybody wants to upgrade just yet. We do have huge residential demand though. Okay, we're gonna expand our road down here. Uh, and build some more um, residences down here. I think as well, I'm going to actually make these, let's just expand this here, because I want these to be back to back, there we go. And um, where does that start to rise? It's around here, isn't it? Okay, so let's actually, um, let's put this underground. Just so it's a little bit different. Yeah, okay, I think that's pretty good. It just kind of breaks up the flow of constant grey roads. I don't want to stick to this grid pattern. The only reason I am doing it right now is purely because it's um, it's kind of the starting village and it's efficient. And it gets us just to where we need to be with the first few milestones. So let's use this remaining £2,000 that we have left over. How much do we need for that? Okay, we just need a few more dollars or whatever that currency is. Kind of looks like euros. Okay, there we go. Okay, no, that's not going to work. That's too expensive. Okay, let's bring this out to here. Okay, I don't want that just there. It's kind of annoying. The angle of that road is really not right. Okay, let's try that. And then we're going to make a real small roundabout here. So let's come out to the edge of the circle. And then up there, edge of the circle to the middle, and then down to here, and then down to here. Okay, so this is just going to be a couple little residential streets, 
and you can link that one through to there. And these guys aren't going to have water. I'm guessing my way of <laughs> lining out the water pipes is really going to annoy people. Um, it's super inefficient, I'm totally aware of that. Um, but I think when you just look down from the bird's eye view and you see it following each of the roads, it just satisfies me a little bit. Um, so that's that's why I do that. I'm sorry if it annoys you. It kind of annoys me as well, um, but satisfies me at the same time. So, yeah, apologies about that. Uh, let's not go right up to the end of the tunnel. Just leave a little bit of space and we'll actually put a path through there as well. Uh, for when people want to want to come through and cut through here. Uh, we may buy this panel just to the left, even though we're planning to expand over here. Um, because this would be perfect for a national park, um, just because of its landscape. I actually live uh, in a national park myself, and the way they're laid out is um, is something I'm really familiar with. So I'm hoping that we can replicate that um, here. Yeah, if, you're, if you're wondering what national park it is that I live in, it's a place called the Lake District in the northwest of England. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, just go and Google some pictures of it. It's a truly beautiful place. Uh, if you haven't been, it's definitely worth visiting if you're into travelling. Um, I did actually used to work for the tourist board, although not anymore. So, uh, yeah, I'm not trying to sell it to you, but if you're looking for a little bit of holiday inspiration, maybe uh, definitely check out the Lake District. It's a, it's a beautiful part of the world. Okay, this is looking pretty good now. Again, I don't want to spam it too much. I want there to be some individuality, not just filling every single square that we can. And some of these guys aren't going to have water, are they? No, yeah, see, they're complaining now. But well, these guys, not enough money. Come on. There we go. Okay. I should do it then. Okay, so we're looking pretty good here. Got some nice shapes going on. This bit's a little bit gritty, um, and we will eventually transform this into a tram lane. And with that, we hit our next worthy village milestone. Wonderful. Okay, so with that, we've got districts now. That'll be really good. Policies, the second loan, district specializations, and service policies. And we also have the fire department, police department, unique buildings, uh, the in industry specializations... Self-sufficient buildings, definitely want to be using some of those. Um, organic and local produce and power usage for policies. And fire station, the police house, which comes with the new buildings. So definitely want to get the fire station in. Uh, we're going to pop that over in the uh, industrial. And we'll also take the second loan and we'll grab the police station as well because this will help us to... Uh, upgrade some of the local businesses and I can fit that on there so like, I'm actually going to upgrade this road because uh, that bottleneck looks super weird yeah okay yes we know we have the clinic do we have any actually sick patients yet we do have sick citizens but they aren't really complaining and the clinic is super expensive to run so we're not going to bug that up just yet although I can actually do my taxes now so we're going to bring these up to 11 just to boost our income a little. And we have a new building here as well, which is the recycling centre. We have no processing status. Um, so let's put the recycling centre here. I do want to keep the city fairly green. Not to the point where we replace all of our industrial with office space. Um, but yeah, I want lots of trams, people using public transport. And using parks and whatnot, so we'll um, we'll definitely see how well and how well we actually remember to do that. But we'll do our best. And you can see just how this will take shape as a main street. We'll put some high density commercial along here soon. Um, well, when we unlock it anyway. And yeah, so it's looking pretty nice. I think it's a good start to the city. And again, okay, so these guys are complaining of noise pollution now. Is that coming from the high street? Yes, it is. Okay. Maybe we unzone these back to... And let these buildings rebuild themselves into just two block residentials. Just so there's a bit of a gap between them. So they're not getting slammed by that noise. 
Okay, and with that, guys, I think we're going to leave this first episode there. Uh, I'm not sure how long we've been recording for, but um, if you forgot at the start of the episode, go and watch Imperial Jedi. He isn't too active on YouTube anymore. He's tend to he tends to hang around on Twitch. Uh, but go and check him out. His links are in the description. Um, and if you enjoyed this episode and want to see this city grow, and if you have any ideas for it, please pop them down in the comments. I'd be more than happy to read them and try and implement them into the city. Uh, but yeah, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next episode.